Gorfist is the first boss of Remnant from the Ashes, and I haven't died this much in a game since Ninja Gaiden on Master Mode. <laughs> if you don't get good, you could end up dying like this, or this, or this. Hi, I'm Leon, and I'll be your boss battle guide. I'm playing through the game on hard mode, so anything I say should apply to the normal difficulty as well. Once I've completed the game, if this series is doing well, I'll make a nightmare playthrough guide. The Gorefist fight has two status effects to worry about and four attacks. Root Rot, which builds to a threshold and then begins to deal Root Rot damage over time. This is accumulated through being hit by what I'm going to call Boomers and their explosions. Root Rot will continue to stack quickly if you stay in their area of effect fields. Aside from that, bleeding can be instantly applied at random any time you are hit by Gorefist's sword. So make sure to have bandages and oilskin tonics ready, which you can get from Reggie at Ward 13. Gorefist's attacks include a vertical chop, a horizontal chop, a charge to close gaps followed by a vertical chop, and a three-piece combo, a guaranteed kill. This combo can be expected after Gorefist does his charge-up animation. But it does not mean this will be his next attack. Be careful. This leads into my next point. Situational awareness is the only thing that will save your life in this game. Remnant has an interesting game mechanic where nearly everything is randomly generated, meaning no playthrough will be quite like the next. The way that this affects this fight is the boomers he spawns and when he does his three-piece combo after charging. Boomers will never come from the same direction, making them hard to plan for. They can be knocked back with any rapid-firing weapon to play hot potato with to set up good timings for a dodge. So here's what I did. First, lure Gorfis to the back corner. It's mostly open and has a few spots for line of sighting if necessary. Keep as much of this room on your screen as you can, all the time. If you find yourself looking at a wall, find a way to turn around. Boomers are silent until they're right up on you. The most common way I died was dodging an attack into a boomer explosion. Boomer spawning locations are random, but do come at seemingly set time intervals. For me, this was every two to three Gorefist attacks. This depends on the distance you keep and whether or not one of those attacks was his charge attack. After the second or third attack, stop the aggression and wait for the boomers. Dispatch of them quickly, and carefully time dodges between explosions and attacks if need be. So step 1. Attack, dodge, shotgun to the face. Step 2. Dodge, shotgun to the face. Step 3. Dodge, shotgun to the face, and wait. Step 4. Kill boomers while keeping the boss in your peripherals, and repeat. This is the best formula of success I have to share with you. If you have any helpful tips I may have missed, please leave them in the comment section. We all need it. Seeing is believing, so I included a video of my hard mode victory, and I hope it's helpful to you.
If you happen to love that content you just consumed, or at least found it helpful, please consider a subscribe, and if you're feeling frisky, maybe a like. I will be streaming this game Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8.30am to 3.30pm Pacific Standard Time until I've finished making these guides. Come join me, or maybe even play, if you aspire to one day beat Nightmare. I could use some hardcore friends. Thank you for tuning in.